Hey, how we doing guys? Welcome back to 6-2 Beer Reviews. Checking out some more burial today in the form of Killing Moon. This is their Czech Dark Lager. Absolutely love this label art. Per usual from Burial, they're always killing the label art game. Um, yeah, I don't even know what's going on here. It's just like a Cyclops skull with a pyramid and a snake in it. I dig it though. Um, so this is a, I always forget how to pronounce it, but Fooder, Fodder, Fooder, Aged Dark Lager. Um, that sounds right. 4.8%, another one of their from their Burn Pile Festival. Um, I'm, trying, I'm trying to find a bottle date on here. I don't know if they have a bottle date. But I want to say early October, so not quite a month old. Three, four weeks old, somewhere around there. Um, yeah. So, had a little technical difficulties with the dog, but as you can see, it's already poured. Um, so let's just get right into it. It poured like a pretty decent head, like a finger worth of pretty khaki colored head. The beer itself is really dark. Um, you can kind of see like little brown clearness at the bottom of the glass, but I mean the rest of it, it's pretty dark, it's pretty black. So uh, maybe like cola colored. Yeah, we'll go with that. So it looks nice in the glassware. Um, I mentioned I I love the bottles, but also like these lagers, they're just so drinkable that like I kind of wish they put them in 16 ounce. But I guess that's why you just pick up like a case of this beer. <sighs> yeah, it's got uh, big time roasty notes, um, but not necessarily like coffee roast. It's kind of like a kind of like a campfire smoke, like kind of campfire roast. But there is a little coffee in there. There's some um, like super um, like dark chocolate, dark chocolate, blackberries, um, lots of dark fruit. Even like a little citrus in there, which I think is really cool. Maybe from the hops that they're using. I'm assuming Czech Dark Lager using some kind of like Saz hops or something like that. A little more coffee there. It smells awesome. It smells really, really good. Yeah, let's just dive in. Cheers, guys. Yeah, just like I was saying, I mean, please put this beer in a 16 ounce format. I mean, I could literally chug this whole thing right now. It's so drinkable. I mean, it's a lager. You know, it's it's not like super full. It's light. It's crisp. Um, not like a ton of carbonation, but like perfect amount my my personal opinion yeah man, that is so good um yeah dark fruits like like almost like jammy notes like blackberry fig jam like without the like super sugary sweetness I will say it does like have a little chalkiness to it. Um, I don't know what that's coming from. Maybe the, um, you know, maybe the yeast. I'm assuming maybe the malts. I don't know. Uh, maybe even the water profile. Who knows? Um, honestly, water profile might might be it. Um, but I mean, other than that, it's it's not like super super noticeable. But I mean, you take that away, and this is like, this is five out of five for me um it's really really solid yeah a little bit of coffee no coffee with that chocolate this is the perfect 
like fall and winter lager. This, this is a this is a winter lager. Um, without the like spices, you know, you some people look at winter lager, they think of like you know Sam Adams winter lager, um, which I think has like what like orange and cinnamon or whatever they add to it. I um, love that beer, but I mean this is this is what I I want to drink. In the winter time when it's cold out. I mean, it's, it's like 48 degrees out right now. This is perfect. It's exactly what I want to be drinking. If I'm not having like a super huge barrel aged stout, you know, something like that, this is what I want to be drinking. Uh, I only picked up a four pack of this, but man, I I could have picked up a case of this and drank this through, through Christmas. Um, super good. I think I paid 12, $13 for a four pack. Um, you know, it's a little steep for a lager, um, but I mean, it's burial, you know, you, their IPAs are like 20, you know, 21, 22 bucks for a four pack, um, stouts run for like 26, um, but it's burial, you know, it's just something you got to do when you're in Asheville. I had to bring back some, and this sounded right up my alley. I was super excited when I saw them post this, um. I just, I'm super into lagers right now, and dark lagers are my thing. They're my jam. So, yeah, guys, that is Killing Moon from Burial. If anybody's had it, please let me know. Anybody's had any other lagers from Burial that they love? Um, I think I mentioned in the last video, but I, I had their Mexican-style lager collab with Other Half, I think. That beer was awesome. I had their... Um, the, I forget what, what it was called, but it was like a play on a Miller High Life label. Um, it was just a, you know, solid American light lager. And it was, I mean, it was crushable. Super good. So, Burial makes some pretty solid lagers, you know. A lot of people go nuts for their IPAs, but um, lagers are killer too. Uh, yeah. So, I think that's all I got, guys. Um, I'll catch you next time. Cheers.